FFBL has about 1,500 employees and produces approximately 1.3 million tons of products, which include 6,500 tons of diammonia phosphate and 6,500 tons of urea, enjoying almost 50% of the market share for both. In 2003, the plant was restarted and FFBL went into a supply contract with OCP in Morocco, one of the largest phosphate producers in the world. In 2004, FFBL initiated a joint venture with OCP making FFBL Pakistan's first company to make a substantial investment on international soil. By 2008, the market supply and demand dynamics changed drastically and FFBL's aggressive expansion and growth plans were beginning to reap massive rewards. Now that FFBL was ready with its business roadmap, what kind of an ERP solution was it looking for? Uh, before 2008, uh, there was a need felt to have integrated you know, system in place. IT environment at that point in time was very fragmented, very uh, labor intensive, very manual. Uh, we had you know, individual systems in place in various departments. Uh, without any integration. There were almost 25 uh, applications which were in-house in developed and those were uh, running in silos. There was no integration. With SAP, we got this opportunity to integrate all our business processes and we went on Big Bang approach and we implemented 11 modules. We had to scope out our project first and decide what we are going to try and implement. And based on that, you know, we, we selected uh, SAP. In the fertilizer industry, the maintenance module is considered to be one having the largest scope. How did SAP work with FFBL in automating these business processes? One was SAP and the other was Oracle. And in the end, we selected SAP for it being the more comprehensive and more integrated product than Oracle. All the activities of turndown were uh, covered by PSPM configuration. We achieved real-time progress monitoring on order operation level. This was a big success to give real idea about the status of maintenance activities which are going all over the plant. Starting from initiation of PR, purchase requisition, until the issuance of material, everything is in SAP. One window operation and we don't have any problems. Uh, because we had a very, very huge uh, scope. You may have companies which have a lot more users, but in terms of the functionality of the SAP itself, ours is probably one of the largest uh, here. So we wanted some uh, a software and a platform that can give us that depth and breadth. That is the reason we uh, selected uh, SAP. FABL, I think, is uh, the only organization or the first organization where workflows were implemented. The PR, which usually took m around month uh, time for the approval, uh, we got the approval in the same day. It was mainly because of this electronic flow of uh, um, document. During the implementation phase, FFBL created a super user group involving all the stakeholders and departments. In addition to the internal teams, it is equally important for the organization to have a strong and open relationship with their implementation partners. In this case, Abacus Consultancy. I think we've had a fairly good relationship. We have a building here uh, in which we house all our project teams. We had housed the ammonia revamp team over there, the DAP revamp team after that, and after that was done we housed the uh, SAP team over there. So both uh, our people and Abacus people were working side by side in the same building trying to uh, you know, uh, go through the implementation. With the organization now in a position to grow with SAP, where do they see themselves in the next five years in business terms? In the next two to five years, we should be able to reduce our costs in a way that the overall cost to profit ratio is improved and we improve our margins, especially uh, trying to con uh, you know, uh, contain our fixed costs and uh, our wastages. Both, uh, as well, uh, both at the plant side as well as uh, in other areas.